Hi, my name is Odette Padon, and I will tell you a little bit about our work introducing induction duality and how it leads to a new primal dual search algorithm for inductive invariance. The main contributions of this work are first induction duality, which is a new mathematical connection between execution traces and incremental induction proofs that is surprisingly symmetric. And second, primal dual Houdini, which we obtain by first taking the dual image of the well-known Houdini algorithm under the new induction duality, and then combining it with the original Houdini algorithm to obtain a primal dual invariant inference algorithm. This new algorithm has interesting theoretical properties and is already able to find inductive invariants for challenging distributed protocols. To give you a little bit of the flavor of the new induction duality, consider this simple program that manipulates three variables. We can think of the state and transitions graph of this program. The initial state is 0, 0, 0, where all variables are 0. From this state, we can get in one step to this state, where a and b are 0 and c is 1. With another step, we can get to this state, where a is 0, b is 1, and c is 2, and so on. We can use this graph to define the set of reachable states of this program. But of course, the graph also includes states that are not reachable and transitions between them. For example, this transition. We usually think of induction as a monolithic process, but we can also think of it as an incremental process that progresses in a stepwise manner. For example, for this program, we can start from the predicate true, which is certainly an invariant, and then use induction to prove that c greater or equal to zero is an invariant of the program. Then, using the fact that c is non-negative, we can prove that b is non-negative with another induction step. And with another induction step, we can prove that a is non-negative. This notion of incremental induction leads to a graph of predicates and induction steps. Similar to the states and transitions graph, this graph can also include induction steps between predicates that are not invariants. For example, in this program, we have an induction step from b equals zero to a equals zero. If you were to believe that b equals zero is an invariant of this program, then by induction, it also follows that a equals zero is an invariant of this program. But these predicates are not invariants of the program and they are not reachable from true via induction steps. There are many more details but at the highest level, the key idea of this work is to formalize a symmetric mathematical connection between these two graphs. The fact that the connection is symmetric allows us to transfer algorithmic ideas from one side to the other. We use induction duality to derive a new algorithm, dual Houdini. We take the well-known Houdini algorithm as a starting point and push it through the induction duality formalism. The result is a dual version of Houdini, which we call dual Houdini, that can be used to discover new predicates. As part of the operation of Houdini, it finds counterexamples to induction that are transitions between states. And similarly, as part of the operation of dual Houdini, it finds what we call dual counterexamples to induction, which are induction steps between new predicates. By combining Houdini and dual Houdini, we obtain primal dual Houdini. We use Houdini to discover states and then feed those states to dual Houdini, which discovers new predicates, which we then feed back to Houdini to discover more new states and so on. The result is a primal dual invariant inference algorithm, which is fully symmetric across both sides of the induction duality and where state discovery drives predicate discovery and vice versa. This algorithm has interesting theoretical properties that rely on the primal dual interaction, and the prototype implementation can already find inductive invariants for challenging distributed protocols. To give you a teaser for the paper, I want to show you this figure that illustrates the operation of primal dual Houdini. The left-hand side of this figure represents the lattice of sets of states, and the right-hand side represents the lattice of sets of predicates. The most interesting and fun thing about this figure is that the left and right sides are symmetric in two ways. If you take the vertical reflection between the two sides, you obtain the classical Galois connection from abstract interpretation. And if you take the horizontal reflection between the two sides, you obtain the new induction duality. So if you are interested in invariant inference, if you like mathematical connections like symmetries and dualities, I invite you to attend the talk on Wednesday at 10.45 and to take a look at our paper.